Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Dragon Age Inquisition. Let's go ahead. Let's fight her. Let's do this. That's not how I should have started this out. I should have started out with this. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Dang it. That was a waste. Son of a bitch. I really wish I could... What's this dude doing? He's like... You know what? Screw you. I'm going invisible. Where is she? Is that her? It is her. These stupid ads. Get out of here, you idiots. There we go. Oh, she's got armor on now. Oh, that's great. If only... I, I admit, did I miss? I need to be able to do my rift thing. I don't know how you get it so you can do that rift thing. Oh, she's got like the same abilities I do. Yeah, point eight are point blank archery. Oh, what the hell? Leaving so soon, your grace. She's up on the wall. Ha ha ha! I have a bow too. I can't see. How do you get up there? Oh, she's just sitting. So me and Dorian just can wail on her. All right. This is how she wants to do it. I can, I can do it. Kind of want to take control of Cole, but I'm not going to. Oh, ha ha! Tricked you. Oh, you what the hell? Like I said, I wanted a boss. I wanted a boss. Come here. Ha ha ha. Hold on. Can I get up on this fountain? Can I, like... Dang it, I wanted to try to, like, jump up on the top. Hold on, I got... I think I got... I think I got an idea. Oh, it was close. I think I almost got it, but... Okay, let me stop. You know, oh my gosh, I'm stuck in the well now. I am stuck in, there we go. Or not in the well, I'm stuck in the fountain. Okay, where is she at? Who is hitting her right now? Am I hitting her? I'm hitting her right now, okay. I was like, who's hitting her? But we're all hitting her except Dorian. Dorian is fighting that thing over there. Where's she going, dude? Give me control of Cole for a minute here. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love using coal. Oh, I see how it is. Okay. I'll go back to my. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Hell yeah! What'd she drop? Please tell me she dropped a bow. <gasps> the the tray panners requital requital. I need to put a rune in that, and this thing could be a op. This thing could be. Uh, two. This dagger is actually pretty good, 195. But oh, my inventory is full. Really, really. What if I I just what if I would just take the Bow. I just want the bow. See, at a certain, I gotta decide here. At a certain point, do I want the aesthetic, or do I want the better? How what does this bow look like? Uh, bow doesn't look bad. It's 105 compared to 81. I'll probably use that, but for now, let's move. Well, that was a fun boss fight. It was kind of easy because she was an archer, so all you had to do is get. And I had two. I had two um, kind of melee characters, so they kind of just like stunned her in a corner <laughs> while Dorian and I wailed on her with magic and arrows. So, I don't know, that wasn't too hard. If you have melee characters, it's really easy. I wonder how this game would play if you played with just a bunch of, like if you played like four mages or four archers or a combination of those and didn't have a tank. I wonder how this game would play. Probably play really weird. 
because it's pretty easy with a tank. There's ag there's things to make aggro on them, and then there's abilities for the other classes to make stuff not aggro on them. So it's kind of a different little thing, I guess. The emperor better the emperor or the empress better side with us. I'm gonna be pissed if she doesn't want doesn't if she's not happy with what I did. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be heated. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Oh, great! Wait, reveal the evidence of Gaspard's crimes to the Emperor. Use evidence gathered about Gaspard to support Brie. Why wouldn't I just support Briella? Like, we're accusing Gaspard no matter what. Gaspard is screwed. I'm sorry, Gaspard. I can't even choose to help you. <laughs> we'll do this, I, I guess. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briella's help. You were working together. Of course. Um. We met your mercenary captain. Oh, hey, here we go. Thanks to Briella, Gaspard's mercenary captain will testify that he hired men to infiltrate the palace. Hired thugs? I didn't expect you to stoop so low, cousin. Don't be naive, Selim. The only difference between a mercenary and a common soldier is a uniform. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually, you'll convince somebody. Oh, hey, I can, <laughs> I can just, I can just air out all his, all his crap. Oh, poor he dude. Also murdered a council of heralds emissary. I found the body in his knife in the servants' quarters. I have done no such thing. Well, I'll go on. And of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Selene. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. Oh. <laughs> Oh, poor, poor Gaspard, dude. I can't even fight for... Dude, you can't even fight for his life. He just dies, no matter what. Like, see, my thing is... Okay, he's gonna die. Why don't we try to, uh... Reconcile them and make them friends. Or lovers. I don't know if they were lovers. I think, I think. Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. For this service to the Empire, Briala, your previous treachery will be pardoned. But you will have to live in exile. You're too kind. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orlé owes you its future. That dress does not move right when she walks, it like... You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orle will never forget your part in this, nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin, and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend?
Ending the war was the first step. Our final goal must be peace for all, Thedas. Well said, Inquisitor. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. Things went according to plan for once. I couldn't be happier. Tonight was a triumph. You should be proud. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Okay, I don't even know. Did I start this with her? Like, did I start... You know what? I want the achievement. But, like, did I start this whole lesbian relationship with her? I don't even remember, dude. <laughs> What have I done to... I, I, like, didn't do anything, I don't think, to cultivate a relationship, really. But now that I decided I... Well, now that I... Re I forgot there was an achievement. Now I remember it, like... I remembered it, like, a few episodes ago. But... So I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna end up with her, because she's the one that's most <laughs> interested. Would you care to dance with me, Lady Josephine? I... Would love to, my lady. Because I don't know, I, I, I think it's a little late in the game to start cultivating a relationship with someone else since I've already... St oh, hey, look. Wicked eyes and wicked hearts. I thought that was the achievement. No, I think you have to... I think I think it comes nearer to the end. But every time I have dialogue with her, I have to choose the heart option. Because I don't know... I think I kind of goofed, done goofed with... I could end up with Hawk, but I let Hawk die, so I can end up with Hawk. Um... And I really haven't had any other... I guess I could have with Cullen, but I kind of didn't go that route at the beginning because I didn't like him. Because I thought he was like a douchebag. But he's actually pretty cool now. But I think I kind of put a kibosh on that pretty early. So I, I'm, I guess we're just going to have this lesbian relationship with Josephine. Because I think I done goofed with every other relationship. If I would have remembered this from the beginning, I could have done better to cultivate a relationship from the beginning instead of partially having one at this point. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. So, 
I don't want to be a dick. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. You must think very well of them to suggest such a thing. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Josephine has already told you this is impossible. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Okay. So I pro I didn't I don't want to lose Cassandra. She's my tank. Because I don't really have an I guess I could go with Blackwall. I guess it's too late now. I already told that lady no, but I guess I could have gone with Blackwall, but it's kind of it's kind of rough. I told him the offer was the best. The Mask of Valmont. The heck is that? Oh. I'll wear it. Hey, it's more defense. I'll wear it. But I think since I'm not on a hard difficulty, I'm sticking with fashion. So can I, like, cultivate this relationship more? To be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. You don't see the Empress of Orlay almost killed in cold blood every day. Not so brazenly, no. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing so few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. Oh, hey, here we go. I don't even know what that... What does that symbol mean? Are like, you're mad? Like, you got your fist up in the... I don't know. See... My favorite moment of the evening is still our waltz in the garden. I could have danced with you for hours. We must do it again sometime. See, here we go. This is what we gotta do. So when we get done with different stuff, I need to cultivate this relationship by talking to her. I don't know how much longer I have of this game to actually do that, so I need to take advantage in every chance I get talk to her and try to do stuff like that. Because I, I'm, I think, you know, the game probably has like a meter that it measures it's stuff like this by. Attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlay. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlay's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. We strike Corypheus now, while his people are reeling. 
If he's hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we finish him. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. What is she wearing? You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? Is best if I show you. Huh? What is going on now? What is she wearing? This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. It's beautiful in its way. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where? Does it lead? The hell? I'm just supposed to follow? Oh my gosh. We're really trusting of this girl. I kind of want to look up... I'm, I'm going to do... While we're, while we're doing all this, I'll... I'm going to look up how... Who all you can end up with a relationship with. Do this. Inquisition. There we go. Let's see if I can find something useful here. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but... Only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The Ancients were nothing if not... resourceful. If they'd only back to our world, then... Places... between, like... this one. I can describe it no better. 
For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time, one cannot remain in between forever. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. All right, so let's get back out of here. I am, I muted my mic while I was doing that, and then I talked for like two, like a, like ten seconds into this loading screen, and realized oh my mic is muted. Hey, I try to mute my mic during the cutscene, so if I shift around in my chair, or get a drink or whatnot, you can't hear it. Sometimes I forget. Actually, a lot of the time I forget. Or I'll mute it before a dialogue. And then the dialogue will be super short, and I'll be like, oh, I just won't mute it for the next one. And then the next one ends up being long. That's just that's just how it goes. Okay, so we're back here. Where the heck are we? Where the heck are we? Is this my castle, or are we somewhere completely new? Where on earth are we? Can we run on the roof? Oh, you can. Oh, look, what is this? Oh, wow, they actually wanted you to jump on this roof. There's an arrow. Wow. Wait, 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 what does that say? Plant new seed. Hmm. Okay, so this is like the garden. That's cool. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. What am I doing? I gotta be- oh god. Okay, how did I not take any damage? Okay, that was beautiful. So, I'm fine with, I guess, romancing Josephine. It's kind of weird because, not that there's like, I'm not saying, but I'm not g gay, so it's kind of weird for me to romance a guy, but I like playing girl characters, so I always end up like, romancing the female characters because it just makes more logical sense in my head but what I'm trying to say is I kind of wish I would have looked that up before because there's nothing wrong with Josephine she's fine um, but you can actually end up with the new girl that just came you can also end up with Leliana so I kind of wish I would end up with Leliana to be honest let's see and what else did Lady Forsythia say that she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, Your Worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task can I do anything to help negotiations uh, thank you but I believe I have matters in hand I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with Lady Porcythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech dealing with so many demanding strong-willed people can't be easy it's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antiva. 
it was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? <laughs> the Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's Cole's lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard paint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? It went by so quickly, I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady Montillier. Goodness! I'm... Well, I'm, I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, I've taken up quite enough of your time already. Until next time, Your Worship. Okay, I guess you can just keep talking to the people and keep the... Okay. Well, I know that works now. Okay. Nice. Dude, this is pretty sweet. I might... So, I, I gotta, you know, honestly, I gotta finish this up before too long. Because, you know, all the games coming out and all that. But we may make a return to this game next summer. And just do legitly everything. Because, look at that better courtyard. All that different stuff. This just looks sweet. I'm assuming, like, you know, like, this is kind of a decrepit area. It's kind of, you know, not too exciting. Nothing much. So I bet you can make it something. You can upkeep it. You can do something. So I might make a re-return to this game next year. Uh, like, ten months from now, who knows. Uh, or maybe in the spring. Because not many games come out in, uh, in quarter one or quarter... Really, most games come out in late quarter three, quarter four of the gaming calendar. I don't know how else to... Yeah, like, look at this. This is all nice now. This is pretty sweet. Like, this is awesome. I'm loving this game. We can judge. Let's be the judge! Who are we got to judge? Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she, she surrendered like to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. As if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. You feel your life is over? There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just... an end. We can judge someone else. We should be able to judge the, the dude that took over the Great Wardens. First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... 
Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. There is worth and weight in every judgment, no matter how unusual. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... <sighs> Forgive me, there is an odor. <clears throat> Strangely enough, something similar happened to an uncle of Emperor Leandra II. His trade routes were returned to the reigning monarch. Why don't we just follow suit? A wise choice. Thank you for making it swiftly. We should be able to judge more people, shouldn't we? No, I thought I'd be able to judge that one dude that we got that we captured. The guy that uh, I forget his name now. The guy who took over the Grey, or, yeah, who took over the Grey Wardens. Alright, I think I'm going to cut the episode here. Uh, we'll talk to Josephine again at the start of the next episode. I know this is probably going to get cumbersome of me talking to her, but we want to get this done. And also, we'll go and we'll uh, sit down with the War Council. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll